Hello Pisces and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl the Moon Goddess. Alright, so we are going to jump into your reading Pisces. We're going to see what's going on with you here. If you are new to my channel, hello. Welcome to my channel. I hope you hit that subscribe button and join this family. Let's grow together, okay? I hope the sound is good for everyone. I do have my fan on in the background. It is a little hot today. And if you see any smoke going past the screen, I do have my incense going. I just took a look and I did see some smoke going past the screen, so don't mind that. Okay, nothing scary, nothing spooky. <laughs> All right, we'll do one more shuffle, Pisces. And then we'll see what we have here for you. All right, so we're starting off with the Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so let's see here. I do feel like there is something that you're looking to start, some connections that you're looking to make, and some that you're also looking to break away from. I'm getting like two different energies here. Okay, I feel like there is a matter of teamwork here that's necessary in order for you to move forward but then I also feel like there's something here where someone is no longer willing to work anymore someone's no longer putting energy or something into a connection I feel like someone is taking their taking their their energy back here with the six of pentacles in the reverse I feel like they're just being all about themselves so this can be you and your partner that you're dealing with or a connection that you're in. One of you is working on trying to figure out the best way to work together, maybe trying to manifest some new starts here, maybe trying to figure out another way to move forward. And another one of you is just like, yeah, no, I'm good. This could also be like an apologetic energy here with this page of pentacles. It's like someone coming through with an apology. And someone being like, yeah, you can keep your apologies. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with your Pisces. Yeah, I feel like there's a connection that's going to be cut off here. I feel like somebody's trying to stop to quit a connection here. Trying to move forward from some things here. Trying to cut off and move forward start something new being more spiritual i feel like some of you also were aware of a third party situation within this matter okay i feel like some of you were just looking for something new here okay this can also be your partner just you know putting you in a third party situation but I also feel like there was something about this person that you just like really couldn't put your fingers on. Oops, let me reshuffle. Let me reshuffle. Lost some cards for a second. I feel like there was something that you couldn't quite put your finger on when it came to the person who you were dealing with or this person feels like that with you. So I feel like there was a third party situation that maybe was the mystery about this person. Okay. One of you is trying to become very independent here. And the other one is just kind of caught up in the idea of just like kind of bliss with you for some reason. It's just like they want to continue a celebration with you. They want to continue working with you. They want this to continue to work, but they're still dealing with this third party. Let's see. Yeah, someone has hope that things are going to get better. This is literally two different sides of the story here. Someone has hope that things will get better and balance out. And somebody else is really just over it. Okay. Somebody else is really over it. They're trying to move forward from this situation. Moving forward into independence. 
okay but someone really doesn't want this to end here yeah then we got the magician at the bottom of the deck someone is trying to really manifest something here they're trying to call something in they're trying to start something but i feel like someone is definitely moving forward it's about balance and giving and taking and working together and trying to figure things out for the for all of you but at the same time I feel like this person might have been a little too slow with how they were trying to fix this connection. And somebody just really got tired of waiting and got tired of um, trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt and is moving forward. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to use my other deck. For clarifying this energy further for our Pisces. Please put in the noise in the background, Pisces. Can we clarify this energy further for our Pisces? Can we clarify this energy further for our Pisces? Yeah, justice again. So it's all about giving and taking. I feel like it's all about maybe making some laws, making some rules that the both of you can kind of work on. I feel like somebody was really trying to be, this can also be just like a little bit of, um, um, controlling, manipulative type of energy as well. But I also feel like with this, it's just like something where it's all about balance and giving and taking. Yeah, you got Page of Pentacles again. It's like someone really wants to start here. Someone wants to start over like really bad. And I feel like because it came out twice, it could have been the both of you at one point really wanting this to work out and really wanting this to be something that, you know, that you can grow and nurture. But at the same time, I feel like there was some things here. Ace of Swords. I feel like there were some things here where it just, it wasn't, it wasn't working out too good as far as the connection. And it's like with the Ace of Swords here. Someone can be getting maybe a new perspective on how to move forward with this or how to go for the things that they're looking for. But at the same time, I feel like it's... It's kind of too late in a way. I feel like it's too late. Yeah, Page of Wands, Nine of Coins, and the Tower card. I feel like this person may see you now as somebody who's more stable. It's the Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, I'm sorry. Page of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Tower card. It's just not working out the way that you wanted it to. Or the way that this person wanted it to. I feel like it's just coming to a very independent end, someone becoming very much so more independent. So we got the Queen of Wands here, so someone being a little bit more creative, networking more, doing some things where the Seven of Pentacles is like, you're doing more things where you're trying to definitely reap the benefits, you're trying to work towards um, something that can be fruitful in the end. And then you got the Page of Wands, Yeah, I feel like someone's going to come back very soon and very quick. I feel like they don't want this connection to end and they know that it's going to be a challenge to try to come towards you, but they're still going to come towards you. I feel like they're making some bold moves here. They definitely want a new start with you, especially with the Page of Wands. Like they're definitely looking towards a new direction or this can be you looking towards a new direction, moving away and going in fast. But I also feel like this is this person coming in I feel like with an apology or something I just feel like it's this person may be kind of sad in regards to how this ended but yeah this definitely it was a call that was necessary like this whole situation was necessary to move forward 
But this person is finally, yeah, they're coming back. Mm -hmm. They are coming back. It's like somebody's closing a cycle and somebody's trying to start a cycle here. This is all that energy. It's just like back and forth type of energy. We got the Eight of Cups with the Six of Swords. And then we got the Death card. It's just like just constant back and forth, coming and going, picking and choosing. And it's just like with this World card here, it's just like, okay, like someone wants to put an end to a cycle that was frustrating. And so we wants to take some time to just really work on themselves. But somebody else is very much so thinking heavily about this connection. And they're trying to figure out, like, how can I fix this? Like, how can I make this work? Yeah, they're thinking a lot about it. But at the same time, they're not acknowledging certain things that they did to contribute to the reason why you guys are not together. I feel like they're still thinking about this. Or well, you're still thinking about this. But this other person is kind of in the energy of just not being able to see what it is that they did and contributed to this being horrible yeah the hanged man it's just like someone has a whole new perspective on life someone has a whole new perspective on relationships now and i do feel like this apology is coming in i feel like someone's coming in to try to show you something different but at the same time you're kind of over it let's go back here sorry about that let's go back here pisces Yeah, somebody's over it here. Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups. I feel like this is you. I feel like you're very satisfied in where you're at now. It's like you've been through all of these things and you're satisfied where you're at. And this apology is not going to matter. I feel like you're going to completely ignore this person. But I do feel like there's some things that still need to be healed. Some closure that's still needed either on your end or on this person's end before this completely comes to an end here. We had the death card twice, so it's like before, I feel like the both, it's like the both of you want to let it go, but at the same time, y'all don't want to let it go. But somebody, I feel like this is you, you're completely satisfied with yourself now, like after going through all the things that you went through with this person, you're just like, yeah, I'm okay, I'd rather not, I'm focusing on other things here, I'm calling in other things and trying to manifest other things, and the things that I'm manifesting are coming in for me, and that can be the reason why this person wants to come back, because they see you being great, and they're just kind of left out in the cold here, just left to think about their actions. I feel like this is also you as well, just being okay with being alone, being okay with dealing with things and handling things on your own and not trying to worry about other people. Six of Swords again. So yeah, Six of Wands as well. And the Moon card, it's like this person had a lot of secrets. This person had a lot of hidden agendas here. This person wasn't being completely honest with you. And then when some things came out, it just like... You made the decision to walk away after so many times of trying and trying. I feel like you had wanted this to work at one point and you were trying to be victorious in this. But at the end of the day, it's just like, at the end, you're just over it. And you're just moving forward and you're feeling great about moving forward because it's like a toxic cycle that you pretty much let go of. And you're moving quick. Yeah, the world card again. It's just like the closure is needed, I feel like, on both sides. Because I feel like there were some things that was definitely um, interfering with the relationship here. This could have been that you guys started pretty young. This could have also been, you know, whatever mysteries this person has. What is this moon card? Can we clarify this moon card for our Pisces? But I feel like for some of you, one of you or the both of you, because the world card came out twice, I feel like there is some closure. Like you still have some questions in regards to this connection. Like, I feel like this is ultimately something that's making you or your partner be some type of way in regards to, like, how they move now in love and in relationships because they haven't completely healed. Okay, Ten of Cups and Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's just, like, moving forward so that you can be happy in the situation. Like, you just want to be happy even though you still have a wall up. This person could still be thinking about you got the four of swords again and then the ace of swords as well. So it's like this person could still be thinking about you. I do it's just like you guys are still on each other's mind. The both of y'all are still in each other's energy here. Because you both have like the same kind of cards. The same cards are coming out twice. So it's like both of y'all kind of thinking the same thing. I do still feel like, you know, even though the world came out, which indicates the ending of a cycle, because it came out for the both of you guys, I feel like 
yeah you both ended this okay maybe it was a mutual agreement to end this relationship but i also still feel like there's somebody who still has something that they have to say or something that they have to get off their chest oh, i am not shopping right <laughs> It's like, literally, you guys are pulling the same, the same cards. Five of Cups, Two of Pentacles. You know, somebody felt some type of way about having you in a third-party situation, having you juggling and trying to make things work out fine. And it's just like, they're really grieving about this situation. And then you got the Hierophant in the reverse. So it's just like, this person is really just not, they won't even try to take the time to, like, seek any help or seek any or trying to pay attention to you here. I'm trying to figure out some things here. And I feel like this is you maybe trying to break away from that whole idea as well. The whole idea of a, of a messed up relationship. The Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Wands. Yeah, it's just like you're ready to move forward here. There's movement forward and you're trying to figure out which way is the best way to go. Or somebody's trying to figure out which way is the best way to go maybe to come back to you. King of Swords, the Tower again, and the Four of Wands. Yeah. Somebody's trying to definitely get some um, some mental clarity here when it comes down to the situation that happened. And I feel like they're trying to ultimately, for some people, I feel like they're just acting like it didn't happen. Like they're acting like everything is all good and gravy, like everything didn't happen. Let's see, Pisces, what's going on again? I feel like they're just acting like this whole situation didn't happen. High Priestess, Magician, Nine of Swords, and the Sun. Yeah, they're trying to manifest coming back to you. I feel like they know now that you're like this person that they need it. Or this person that they know that they can accomplish everything with. And they're stressing out here because their toxic cycles and the things that they did to you are literally haunting them. It's haunting them because these things ended up coming out. Or this can be you as well. Or your person just shining here with the sun card. And it's just like this person is definitely feeling some type of way because they see you doing what it is that you have to do for you. This person could have been somebody in your past, okay? Somebody who you've known for a while or you guys, they can be trying to bring up like old memories here, but I feel like they're still living in the past. They're definitely still living in the past here and I feel like you've definitely moved forward. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. It's just like they want a new opportunity with you. They want to present this apology. They want to present this new opportunity with you because they know that they messed up. It's just like a whole bunch of things that they're thinking about bringing in with you. A whole bunch of opportunity, but they want the opportunity to be able to say the things that they have to say or get it off their chest. And I feel like for some of you, you're just like, I really don't want to hear it. But it's like they want to say it, but they don't want to say it. I think they're afraid to say it. Because they know it's not going to be accepted the way that they think it will be. I think they are expecting for you to... What's the energy of this person? What's the energy of this person in regards to this situation? <laughs> yeah. They want a whole new start with you here. They're tired of really battling here, but at the same time, I feel like they're really immature. They want to be successful in love with you, but I feel like they're very immature when it comes down to it. I feel like they just do things pretty prematurely. Even though I know, like, for some of you, they, you know, they may be very sincere and passionate about you now. But at the same time, it's just like they're just really acting like these things that happened in the past didn't happen. And they're just acting like, you know, everything is just supposed to be erased. And it's supposed to be okay, and it's not. Hmm. 
this could be a money matter too. This person could need help. This can be a money matter too. But this can also be them maybe trying to work their way up to being more fair and more straightforward with you. Yeah, they're trying to work towards this. But it can also be a situation that involves money. Let's pull this love card. I need to get this 100% clarified. Because I feel like this person may be afraid. This person is definitely afraid to come back. I feel like you both want the same thing. But at the same time, it's like, I feel like you wanted it at one point. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Yeah, this person is going to come back here. And I feel like for you, I feel like it's a matter of you just ready to move forward. But this person looking to come in and give you new love. But I feel like the both of you are being kind of stubborn here in a way. For some of you, I feel like you both being stubborn. It's like this person wants to come in. They want to offer you something new. You don't want to take it because you're so tired of the drama and the back and forth. But you do love this person and care about this person. Or you think about this person often. And it's just like, you know, you're not really trying to go back to the situation that this person had you in. But at the same time, it's like you both are pulling the same energy towards each other. It's just like, bro. <laughs> if you want to move forward move forward because i feel like with the eight of cups and the six of swords and things like that i feel like it's just like coming and going it's like the cycle is coming and going and i feel like you're trying to figure out the best way or this person is trying to figure out the best way to restart this because they still have hope they still have hope in this connection i'm exhausted i see <laughs> like this person still has hope in this connection yeah it's like make a decision on what it is that you want <laughs> the judgment and the magician it's like make a decision on the things that you want to call in for yourself okay it's like what are you going to choose and i feel like some of you already made a decision as well or well, this person can be making a decision like i choose you like i manifest you I don't know, Pisces. I hope this resonated. If it did, give this video a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel. Y'all gonna work it out and get it together because it's just all over the place. You guys are just all over the place. Okay? <laughs> Figure out what you want and then go for what it is that you want, Pisces. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.